Hi there, everybody. This is Elk. Never Alchemy Prime. If you're new, trying out Scribble Knots Unlimited. Now I have played this before. I was clear about the fact it says continue here. Uh, but I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna go back to the beginning of Scribble Knots Unlimited. And I really hope this video takes because otherwise you won't see me doing that. Uh, I like Scribble Knots. It's a fun game. I mean, the ability Our to story begins write anything into Edgar. a and book Grandma and it Julie. pops up. That's really Cool. I mean, that's something I wish this, I could do when I was Grandpa a kid. But Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest that adventurer. That would have been great. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. I also kind of wish I had a better she microphone was also an than adventurer. this one. Uh, should we skip this game? cinematic? Nah, in case you guys Edgar are new. Often brush away it's kind of cool. I mean, you get to see things they do. You get to see the whole idea of how Maxwell find, got his, Julie was already there, uh, his magic notebook. And the new magic they globe they've like added, which is pretty cool, I'll be honest. So just looking at this, it's it's a fun On one game. Julie Can't beat really see Edgar much. to the top of a long lost pyramid. Uh, you can see the story. But I the I, I was afraid to stop talking over this because they're like, oh, we have a copyright violation. Two of them yeah. semi retired so to start a family, that. and they continued but, starting that yeah, family the that until they had me. forty-two children. Forty-two kids. That woman is a uterus with one a day, head. Mom and dad Wait, gave Maxwell and me I don't know. two amazing gifts. That is just gifts. way too the first was a magic specific that let you travel of a uh, in the world. number of children. The second was it's astonishing as what it is. The no Duggar mother would be this proud. Let you write any word in it, and poof, the That's word would come to life. That's just crazy what it is. So yeah, we have Maxwell. He's been our hero for a few games now. He can do anything. His sister has Our the. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled you know, little his, brats. That, that magic so they sent us out the world, to face the challenges said, of the outside world. It's, it's kind of cool. On the road to the city, uh, we ran into an old man. You get to this point. This is what's really driving the whole game. Maxwell mm -hmm. made something to give him, but he played a nasty Just trick. This. Yeah, this has been a while. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man I do like the fact that let you use adjectives, very, which is really cool. Scribble Nuts is one of those games that evolved some sort of as they were developing it, and that was really us nice. Spoiled little kids, and then disappeared. <sighs> Didn't seem like anything had happened. Then we find out misogynist wizards attack. I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. Yes. We didn't know what to do. Mm, I hate Luckily, you, so I'm going to curse your sister. Yeah. Boy, he's a mustache twirling villain was. in this game for children, what isn't it? Did to the old man and said we probably so, deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin. Which finally explains why we're collecting these dang star rights. We've been star collecting them for two games now. Born out of Great, if we, they had shown us before why we were doing them. To make others happy. There's the in this one introduces star right pieces, which is for Hopefully, lesser puzzles. Maxwell Though some are difficult. It could collect enough uh, starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, That's it! I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world! And this is kind of reminding me of 100 Good better. Deeds for Eddie McDowd. So Maxwell grabbed his remember that show? I think it was like Seth Green as a dog. Who's was really the bully reincarnated as a dog. It's a little dark for a children's show. Maybe I'm reading into it a little much, but... I always viewed it as way too dark to be on Nickelodeon when it was. Walk to the former, who's your brother, so I should know his name by now. Jesus, Maxwell. I guess that's the side effect of having 41 brothers and sisters. No idea what's going on here. Write an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. Okay. Well, there's an easy way to do that. I'm a little confused when I'm looking at this because my recording software is in this windy at the window next to this. So. Here, this Brillo pad. Is it? No. Go back. Uh, take this easy. Sponge. Let's use a sponge onto Maxwell so he can scrub the gosh darn pig. Oh, look, it's a clean piggy. Okay, now the next hint. Click Maxwell, remove the object, and you're getting the idea here. I, I you would imagine. Uh, let's increase the pig's size. So I'm gonna add. Here. Um, I don't think it will take Jotunheim. No. It'd be really cool if it did. The frost giant pig. Uh, let me go with giant blue pig. 
Try using bastards. A giant in there, and I wanted him blue. Use an adjective and undercoat wings large enough wings large enough to carry the pig. Fine, yeah. You, know, you want wings big enough to carry a pig? An evil huge wing. Alright, well apparently in the tutorial I can't be creative. We already got the biggest pig. Why did I need these in the backpack? Why couldn't I have just put them on the pig? What did this accomplish? Oh, sorry, that may have gotten a little loud for any of you using headphones. Very sorry about that, actually. So, there's that, and oh look, I'm going to make the animals go. How come the guinea pig did better than the real pig? This is a messed up farm. I don't know about you, I do not want to eat any of the stuff at this farm. Or at, like, the county fair you're gonna get these prizes from if a guinea pig beats a real pig. Yeah, that might just be me. But, that's probably just me. Because I'm an American. Nothing against people who like guinea pigs. I just don't. At all. Turn off your star at- no. I like my Star Ambition. Fine, I'm gonna put a sun here. Fine. Storm. I made rain. I made a YouTube sensation version of rain. But fine. If you want it your way tutorial, I'll do it your way. See? Now you got Audrey 2 in here. That's what you get for not letting me make chocolate rain. Alright, let's go to the menu. Reset. Yeah, I know, I'm playing through the tutorial. This is probably super boring for all you guys. But, eh, it's <laughs> what I kinda gotta do for now. Just to get this set up. I'm, I'm also, you'll notice my mouse is going off the screen. I'm trying to keep an eye on my timer. My kitty is stuck on the top of the tree. Get her for me. Okay. You see? This is really where Maxwell should shine. So I'm going to use one of my favorite tools here. The lasso. Flip. Which... Use the lasso. And now I'm going to let go of that cat because that's going to hurt. Okay. So I think we've gotten all the starry pieces in this farm. better name for this show, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what that just said. Shit. I'm, I'm just gonna keep running away. Go to the city. Screw you guys. I'm tired of this podunk farm life. Welcome to Capital City. Can I go to Springfield? I was saying, if the Capital City is named Capital City, I'm led to believe I'm in whatever mystery state Springfield's in. Let's see. I'm parked illegally. Okay. Um, well, what should I do about that? Um, oh, I got an idea. I'm gonna drag a new engine onto it. Maybe that? No. Nope. Okay. Jetpack. I'm gonna get like 7,000 comments. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get like one comment. Because nobody will watch this. think that people would watch me. It's truly a folly. Oh, okay, I'm done. I, I think I might have killed a guy. No. What do you have, cop? No. I, shouldn't this be more parked illegally than it was? Why are you, Roach? Nothing. Lonely. We all get lonely sometimes. Place someone into the phone booth to make a sidekick for me. Baby. I'm gonna put a baby in this side booth. Empty. No. Fine. 
Lucky Reporter. not a sidekick. It's a freaking dude. His brother, Clef. Yeah, if this game wasn't owned by WB, they would be so sued. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, okay, so next episode, I'm probably gonna talk to this guy. Hopefully by then I'll have a name for the show. Probably not. I wish I would.